Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm here to review another ICO. I want to clarify that just like all my other content besides interview, these ICO videos are not sponsored content. I'm receiving no reimbursement from anyone for making these videos. Quick reminder to hit that like button if you haven't already, and please don't forget to subscribe. I put out new content pretty frequently, and I would hate for anyone to miss out. Disclaimer, this project is an ICO, so it's still very much in development. Please always do your own research. As usual, I'm not a financial advisor. All investments have inherent risk. My videos are for entertainment purposes only. Lastly, if you'd like to support my channel, you can become one of my patrons or check out my website where I sell all different kinds of merch. I'll leave all the links down below for everything. Let's jump right into it. What is Moonlight? The concept behind the project is pretty simple. They've created a decentralized platform to bring contractors and employees together in a mutually beneficial way. The decentralization allows for greater transparency and makes it easier for both the employers and the employees to find the right match for an efficient and meaningful engagement. The platform takes in several elements that are already existing in the current gig economy and adds in features that can be afforded by the blockchain for better project management and a better workforce ecosystem. The platform features a marketplace for work to be advertised by organizations or individuals. Workers can bid with the amount of hours that they are able to provide to a project. Alternatively, a matching engine can autonomously connect organizations and workers for best suited jobs to fulfill their needs. Moonlight offers several more features to improve on the project management processes, such as analytic data sets to power project tracking, a transparent crowdfunding platform, and a tool for cross-border worker remittance payment. All right, let's go over the team. The Moonlight Project has a strong team with experienced individuals working for them. Most of their developers are from the city of Zion, which is a global independent group of open source developers that is associated most famously with the Neo blockchain. The leading co-founders are Alan Fong, Tyler B. Adams, Chris Birmingham, and Michael DeVal. These guys are also known for co-founding the city of Zion as well. Out of the ICO and the token metrics, Moonlight is creating a NEP5 token called Lux. The Lux token will operate like the next token to provide additional value to token holders. Addresses holding Lux will be awarded gas proportional to their Lux holdings. Additionally, Lux will have the utility within the ecosystem. Remittances done with Lux will award the resolvers and the issuers reduced fees. The total supply of Moonlight or Lux tokens will be 1 billion. There will be no bonus provided during the pre-sale event. They stated it's because they want to decrease the incentive of people to buy and flip the project. The Lux token allocation is broken down as follows. 30% for immediate project growth, meaning strategic partnerships, core development incentives, and so on. 20% toward the vested project growth. This allocation will be locked in a smart contract for 24 months and will be used to accelerate new project initiatives. 25% for the pre-sale and the last 25% for the public token sale. The exchange rate is 1 NEO for 2,000 LUX token or 1 ETH for 15,000 LUX tokens. The pre-sale finished last week and they're starting their public sale I think sometime this month. Moonlight has a few components that make up the project, which are the marketplace, the project coordination, trustless resumes, remittance, and project crowdfunding. Moonlight equips both the employee and the employer with an ecosystem that they call the smart economy workforce. This smart economy workforce is broken down into two entities, the issuer, the one who creates the task, and the resolver, the one who fulfills the task. Let's move on to resource identification within the marketplace. To better equip the issuer and the resolver, Moonlight has developed a matchmaking algorithm built into the smart contract that assigns the issuer's tasks to the right skilled resolver. The marketplace runs both on and off chain and allows developers to interface with matchmaking algorithms via API keys. Next is their advanced project coordination. Moonlight will provide an estimate of how long a user will take to actually complete a task. This will be based on historical data comparing the contractor's estimated timeline versus actual timeline. This also allows an issuer to see how each bidder will impact the project's deadline. Trustless resumes. To start off the project, they will allow people to submit their own normal resumes to the ecosystem. As tasks are completed, users will start building their own trustless resumes based on how fast and how efficiently they complete the tasks in Moonlight. The resumes will be registered on the blockchain to prove their merit. This will allow for a level of trust between the employee and the employer that's not currently available in other non-blockchain-based solutions. Remittance. This is defined as a peer-to-peer -peer transfer of funds across borders. Moonlight will support different types of payments. The first one would be post-pay, and it's the payment type that allows the organization to provide payment for the task after it's completed. Prepay. This is the payment type that pays the provider as soon as he is selected for the task. This is a good method of payment for those tasks that may have associated upfront costs. Staking is the payment method that's going to be best for complex tasks or ICOs, as it allows staking in one currency and then upon completion payment can be provided in another coin or a token. If after some time the token cannot be provided, then the payment can be made via the staked currency. The periodic payment is the closest to the traditional salary payment, where the payment's paid out by agreed amounts on a regular interval. 
Flex payment could be compared to the time and materials billing that we see in the consulting world. The final price has not been determined ahead of time. In order to receive payment, you have to submit documentation showing proof. Documentation could be something like receipts, timesheets, and any other kinds of things that you can think of. The system will integrate with the NEON exchange. This will be the primary currency exchange on the system for those that want to receive remittance in fiat or other tokens on the NEO system. Next up is project crowdfunding. Moonlight allows organizations to add maturity gates, and these gates are incentives for contractors to adhere to a schedule. Stakeholders or issuers of the organization can assign their tokens to be distributed on different maturity gates. If the agreed upon work has been completed in a particular time, the maturity gate will open and distribute the token. This ensures that the contractor is rewarded based on the work completed and not on promises. Up next is their advisors. So they have strong members from Nex and the city of Zion. Ethan Fast, who is the creator of the more popular Neon Wallet, and Nathaniel Walpole, who designed Neoscan. Their data science advisor is Chris DeInnes. He has a PhD in statistics, and he's also a machine learning expert. On to their partners. Again, the city of Zion, as I previously mentioned, and Neo Global Capital. NGC is a financial investment branch of the NEO Foundation. NOS is another partner. This is a virtual operating system for a new and transparent internet. This project actually also runs on the NEO blockchain. Thor, which offers fast and flexible payments for insurance, 401ks, and a network of jobs for contractors on the NEO blockchain. Moonlight provides a platform for trustless resumes, recruitment, and project management, while the Thor token will provide contractors an easy way to access their benefits. It's actually a pretty cool use case for both projects. Onto their competitors, the Blue Whale Foundation ICO and WorkCoin, which is another ICO, as well as any traditional freelance platforms. Although I do think that Moonlight has a serious advantage by removing the middleman and empowering its users, I also just don't know a ton about the other ICOs doing this. What's coming up that we have to look forward to? The public sale is coming up this month, and the marketplace beta is slated for release in Q3 of 2018. Final thoughts. I love the fact that the project is built on NEO. I think it's really cool to see newer platforms starting to grow and evolve. I also think the use case for this project is awesome and definitely makes sense. By removing the middleman in this situation means both the companies and the employees will benefit financially. Their team's already proven through their past projects that they're very adept and experienced in blockchain tech. Their white paper is very detailed and really lays out the project in an organized and easy to understand way. The only hurdle I see is the length of the roadmap. In a traditional setting, that wouldn't bother investors as that's kind of normal, but in the crypto space, people are impatient. However, that doesn't mean that the project won't be successful, but rather people just need to be a little bit more patient. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for me today. I want to thank you all for watching as usual. I appreciate the love and support, and I will see you guys soon.